I was, what is it you want to sing? The same song that's been done a dozen times tonight? You and your 15 friends? Okay. Bartender, make it a double. What's up, YouTube Universe? Welcome back to Cowboy Jack Live. It's me, Cowboy Jack. I'm in the house and I've got a fun one for you today. It's the top 10 songs that I hated to play as a karaoke DJ. This list is my own 10. You probably got your own that you just hate hearing anytime you go out to karaoke. So I want to hear your list at the end of everything. Drop it in the comment section below. Also, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you stay up to date for all the videos that I post. I want to hear your comments, your feedback. It's going to be fun. I'm going to give you a link in the description below to check out the original song and maybe even a karaoke version so you can have a shot, maybe try to redeem my hope in some of these songs. But here we go. Let's get this top 10 list going. Number 10. Now this song, I actually have a new respect for now that I don't live in Johnson City. But anybody that lives in Johnson City back in my hometown will appreciate the hatred that I had for this song at one time. It's Wagon Wheel by Darius Rucker or Old Crow Medicine Show. I prefer the original by Old Crow. Originally written by Bob Dylan, partially. Um, he handed it off to Catch of Old Crow, and they finished the song up. But it's got that one line in it. Walking to the south out of Roanoke, I caught a trucker out of Philly, had a nice long tote, but he's headed west from the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, Tennessee. And that's the part that I just can't stand because you got to think about this. Other Cover bands do it all the time in Johnson City, but even at karaoke, you got these 10 drunk guys from ETSU. Half of them aren't even from Johnson City. But the only words they know with the whole song, Johnson City, Tennessee. Just, just no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Coming up next on my list, number nine. This is one of those classic duets that everybody just loves to hate. I'm talking about Picture by Kid Rock and Sheryl Crow. Listen. It's 2.30 in the morning. We really don't need that sappy heartbreak love song. Face it, Kid Rock, he, he's good, but he shouldn't have sang songs like this. Now, I still get perturbed. Perturbed, is that even a word? It is to me. I think it's a word. <laughs> but I mean, the song's okay. Mediocre at best. Throw it in there after you've had, you know... Get that much whiskey. And he even talks about fueling up on other narcotics. <laughs> no, just 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 leave it on the back burner. Don't don't try picture. You're not Cheryl Crow. You're not Kid Rock. You're not Bobby. Mm, no. Coming up next on the list is a song that everybody Every old rock and roller wannabe in their 40s and 50s remembers from their 20s. Yes, I'm talking about number eight on my list, Paradise by the Dashboard Light by Meatloaf. I've never really got into Meatloaf. I mean, other songs is good. Even Paradise by the Dashboard Light in the original format is great in itself once a, every other year. But listen... You're you past your prime. I, I know it's having fun, but it's done way too much, and you are not meatloaf. No matter how much you try, you don't want to be meatloaf. <laughs> just, just give it up, old rocker, dude. Get, get, get your prune juice and your walker and get back on out of there. This next one I hate to put on the list because I'm a huge fan of this guy, Hank Williams Jr., but I had to do it. Number seven on the list, Family Tradition. I love the song. It's a classic. Whenever you go to Hank concerts, whenever you go see him live, the last song, you know the show's over when he sings Family Tradition. 
country music singers. You know, in about seven minutes, you can get up and go home. He don't play an encore. That's the last song he's done for decades now. It's a great song when he does it himself. But the thing is, everybody says, Hank changes the words. I can change the words. Well, Hank wrote the song. You didn't write the song. If you're going to sing it at karaoke, sing it the way he wrote it and recorded it. Don't try to be a Hank Jr. impersonator. Because trust me, you're not. And don't insert your own last name instead of family. It's not a Buckingham tradition or a Franklin tradition or a whatever your last name is. <laughs> Just leave it up to Hank. Let him change the words live because it's a lot better when he does it. Coming up next on the list is, is an artist that may be a little bit controversial to some of you. I'm talking about David Allen Coe, number six on the list, You Never Even Call Me By My Name. And I think what really triggers a lot of people to want to sing this one is not really the content of the song or that it's a good sing-along song. It, it's got the, the chorus where, you know, oh, how's it go again? And I'll hang around as long as you will let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. And I never minded standing in the rain, in the rain, in the mother rain. Yeah, you can sing along with that part in the chorus. Everybody loves doing that. But that's also part of it because at the end of the song, um, when he talks about the extra verse that his friend wrote and sent to him, I think grown men, once they get drunk, automatically revert back to being nine years old, and the fact that cussing somehow turns adolescent and they get to scream cuss words through a sound system at karaoke. So they sing at a normal volume and then go run over my damn old train! Grow up. Just let David Allen Coe do his own thing. <laughs> Him and his, his braided beard. And he, yeah. <laughs> Number five. One of the most classic sing-along songs in country music. I'm talking about Friends in Low Places by Mr. Garth Brooks. It is a, an awesome... Hold on a second. Do, do I have the Garth look now? 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I know that's not the same song I'm talking about. I'm talking about friends in low places. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots. As a DJ, I actually love playing this song at country-themed wedding receptions because it is a great sing-along song. And it all talks about, you know black tie affairs and glasses of champagne and that's what the whole thing's about but when it comes to karaoke everybody just wants to i'm staring at a cat on the bar trying to knock crap off where was i at oh, yeah. when it comes to karaoke for this song though Everybody wants to do that third verse version of the song. And this goes back to the last song on the list. I think it's just that revert back to adolescence and they get to scream cuss words in a microphone. You can kiss my ass. No, I don't want to. No. Coming in on the list at number four, this is going to be one that might rub you wrong, and I apologize once again. It's not that I don't like the original songs. I love most of these original songs when they're done by the original artist, or somebody can actually do them good at karaoke, then that's all well and good. But the problem with the next one is everything they want to add to it, and I'm talking about Purple Rain by Prince. Now, like I said, I love this song by Prince or by someone that can sing it good. 
But everybody wants to sound just like Prince. So like, turn the reverb up. And you don't want me to do that, but I do it anyway. And then it all falls apart. They hear that reverb. They want to make sure they hear themselves real good and they sound great in the microphone. And then they can't keep up with themselves. They've lost timing. They've lost tracking. And they're three beats off and starting late. And no, no. If you can do it good, you practiced it. You know what you're doing great. But after the fourth tequila, don't try to sing Purple Rain. Now, like I said earlier, I like most of these songs on the list. I've got nothing against the original song. This one, though, if it fell off the face of the earth tomorrow, wouldn't bother me one bit. Coming in at number three, it's What's Up by Four Non Blondes. I just do not like this song in general, period. The, the chick that sings it sounds like she's whining the whole time. Literally, her voice is scratching and going all over the place. And it's just, no. Plus, on top of that, you've had Little Miss Prissy that's had, you know, 12 cranberry and vodkas. And she's like, I want to sing a song that empowers females. That song has nothing to do with about empowering females. But I've actually had multiple girls tell me that when they've requested the song <laughs> and they try to sound just like the original they try to sound like four non-blondes it don't work just quit delete i've actually deleted it out of my library oops i don't have it seeing that this video is coming out in late october we just a uh, couple days away from Halloween. It's sort of fitting that this one is on here. And this one, I've never seen the movie. I have no want to see the movie. Partially because I've been a karaoke DJ for so long, this song and a couple others has ruined it for me. I don't care. And I'm talking about Time Warp from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, coming in at number two. Now this one, I, I don't hate it, but... There's like, what, eight different people singing in the song? I've only got two microphones. And you want, you know, everybody to throw back a mic. It's just, it's, it's a huge fluster cluck that I just, no. If you want to dance to the Time Warp, I'll play it for you. Play the original. Dance to that. It's Halloween. In another week, you won't care. No Time Warp. Unless we're going back to 1985 with Doc Brown and Marty. And now we've made it to number one. One, 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 one. And another song that I think is going to rub some people the wrong way. A little bit controversial that it's on the list, but I'll be honest with you. It's on a lot of worst karaoke songs to do lists. And that is the infamous Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Yes. Once again, it's a great song. Leave it to Freddie and the boys. Don't try to do it at karaoke. The six-minute epic is great. And sometimes somebody comes along that can nail it. But more likely than not, that's not going to happen. And trust me, it's going to sound like everybody loves it when it first starts off. Because you're going to have the whole bar singing along with you. But by two minutes in, we're done. Especially when one person... Tries to hit the high notes and the low notes by himself. Not going to work. <laughs> leave it to Queen and the boys. And leave Bohemian Rhapsody in the book. Well, that's my top ten. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. Maybe you agree with some of these. Maybe you don't. If you don't, if you've got your own top ten, leave it in the comment section below. Like I said, take a look at that info section. I've got links to the original songs some karaoke versions that way you give it a shot let me see what you got and if you can redeem my hope in some of these songs don't forget if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell that way you stay tuned and you know every time i come through with another episode of cowboy jack live so remember no matter if we agree or disagree thanks for watching i'll see y'all next time cowboy out